on so many people concerned about making sure their vote gets counted this year and people are opting for absentee ballots. Now we are learning that some voters across Brooklyn are reporting that they got the wrong absentee ballot sent to their home and it is raising a lot of concern. Five weeks until Election Day and some voters who requested absentee ballots are getting ballots meant for someone else. One PIX11 viewer tweeting, I received my absentee ballot today addressed to me, but the official absentee ballot envelope inside has a different woman's name and address. My husband also received his absentee ballot today with the same mistake. How can we resolve this? Hannah and her husband are apparently not the only ones. Voters across at least five neighborhoods have been identified by the news outlet The City as getting the wrong oath envelope to return those ballots, including Sheepshead Bay, Crown Heights, Prospect Heights, Park Slope, and Dumbo. The Board of Elections responding to their story saying we are determining how many voters have been affected, but we can assure that the vendor will address the problem in future mailings and make sure people who received erroneous envelopes receive new ones. The BOE also tweeting that anyone who gets an incorrect oath envelope should reach out so a new ballot can be sent. The Board of Elections not only receives and registers votes, but they also match signatures. So any ballot returned with an incorrect signature should be invalidated to prevent voter fraud. Now keep some deadlines in mind. October 9th is the deadline to register as a voter. So you still have time to do that. You can request that absentee ballot all the way up until October 27th, and as long as it is postmarked by November 3rd, which is the same as in-person Election Day, your absentee ballot will be counted. Still, it's something that is a little bit upsetting for people to see that they're getting these uh, oath envelopes that have the wrong address. Also adding to this is these absentee ballots say absentee military ballot. That doesn't mean you need to be in the military to vote. That is simply how those were printed. So go ahead and make sure that your vote counts. Reporting this morning from Brooklyn Heights, I'm Kirsten Colpix, 11